Oh, what is good, guys? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. Let's go. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my sub. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. <laughs> What's popping, guys? Today, I want to talk about the benefits of physical activity and why everyone needs to dunk. All right, welcome back, guys. This channel is all about helping you live your life on a higher frequency, increase your energy, chase your dreams, live in the freaking quantum, and dunk if you're into that. So I'm going to talk about my recent dunk session, some key takeaways after I show you those dunks. But before that, I want to talk about why physical goals or physically pushing yourself is extremely important. And not only important, it's necessary for every single human if you want to exist in a peaceful manner on this planet. By the way, don't camp next week, so we're prepping. I'm feeling good. Let's go. All right, so this goes out for anybody doing anything in their life at all. Physical is a way you can do two things. Before I get into those two things, I want to mention what dunking has done for me really quickly. The, the goal of trying to push myself to jump my highs and dunk has improved my life in every facet because... The attempt to make a dream a reality has illuminated different things about myself, my doubts, my fears, the obstacles. I've had to be the most healthy I could possibly be, the strongest, the fittest, have a good routine where I sleep eight hours soundly, lucid dreaming, all those type of things just from one goal. So... This one goal has made me into the best version of myself, and that's why I implore you, if that's the right word, to do the same with a physical goal. Now, here's why. Two reasons. Number one, when you have a physical activity and you push yourself, that simple energy that was in your body is now physically exerted out. So anytime that you have stress, anxiety, which we all do every single day. We came from friggin' evolution. You want, If you go back in history, we used to have to hunt and run and survive, but all those different survival things are not necessary, so we're not exerting that same survival energy. So simply put, physical exertion will ground you. It'll help you simply be more happy. If you push yourself like I did today, sprinting, and your heart feels like it's going to beat out of your chest, and you can't breathe, you don't care about uh, uh, how much you spent on socks. You just can't. You don't have the energy to, to think about it. It helps you bring more peace to your life. Again, when you physically exert yourself, you're going to be more tired. If you Push yourself hard as you possibly can the whole day, not just running all day, but you know what I mean, just in, in physical ways, and you use all that energy. When you lay down at night, especially if you woke up early and you had a morning workout and you pushed hard and you're pushing goals, when you lay down, you're going to be done, and that's going to help the healthy cycle of getting to bed on time, sleeping soundly, and just being in a better routine. And number two, one of the most important things in my life, and it may just be my experience, is what you learn about yourself. So you're connected to everything in the universe from your body, mind, spirit, in that order, and I believe that it, it goes back and forth. It's not just one channel. And so without, even if we don't believe that, whatever it is, trying something physical, especially with a goal that you're trying to attain, but even just trying a small goal of like, I'm just gonna work out today, push yourself to a limit, that will teach you about yourself. It'll show you keys that you can unlock your full potential. And what I mean by that is if you have any type of goal or you just push yourself, the thoughts that come in your head, if you can be aware, it'll show you your doubts. It'll show you what you're capable of. And if you can act on that, you can continue to get better. And why do you want to get better? The goal in life is just more happiness and more peace. So if you push yourself physically and you say, you know what, I shouldn't have done this or I feel like a bad person because of this, physical activity helps illuminate all those thoughts. So my point with this video is physical activity is one of the easiest ways to get to know yourself. And the better you know yourself, the better you can vibrate at the highest frequency of your being. 
you can be more yourself, you can have more experiences that you enjoy, and you can continue to elevate your life instead of being stuck, which then leads to anxiety and depression and sadness and all those lower vibrations that I don't want you to have. I want you to have the good ones. So if you don't know where to start and you want to know yourself, just do something physical. And the beautiful part is you could do anything. You could go for a walk. You could stand right here and hold your breath. You could do push-ups. You could do anything. Anything physical at all. Break a sweat. Know yourself. That's a quote me. Let's go. I made that, but double. Oh. I got a little bounce back. Woo! All right, so the big takeaway from today's dunk session was that I felt effortless. I felt slow. I'm always the fast one sprinting in, so it was awesome to be the slow one, and I don't even feel slow. I just feel like I'm relearning speed with more muscle, and I feel like I'm getting up effortless, which is what I've been carving and trying to do for the past couple months, and it's one of the hardest things to do is to make jumping effortless. To make anything look effortless is the hardest thing to do, but it's also the sign of an elite level. I was just watching some clip of Trey Young on Ball is Life on Instagram, and he was making moves, and he was finishing, and he made it look so easy to blow by a defender, so easy. I'm like, man, is he just that quick? No, he's that good that it looks effortless. And I love that. And the reason I want to dunk effortless is to dunk in games, to dunk in any situation, to dunk off one step, to dunk on people's neck. So I'm feeling good. Didn't even touch my head to the backboard, but my dunk package is very similar to what it was when I was jumping my highest, which is 42 inches. So I'm climbing my way back with higher potential and I couldn't be more pumped. Let's go dunk camp and stay tuned on this channel. I can't wait to dunk in games. Excited to show you that and ask me any questions you want. Happy dunk tip Tuesday. Keep working. Let's freaking go. Build your energy. Be yourself. Break a sweat. What did I say? Break a sweat. Be yourself. Let's go. Dunk tip Tuesday. All we do is dunk. Dunk tip Tuesday. Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk tip Tuesday. No, my vert is going up. Dunk tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk tip Tuesday.